As researchers, it's important that we know how to talk to people about our research. That's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these buttons available. Just pick one up, put it on, start a conversation. It's also why I'm here with my friends, Lucy and Cecilia, to show how it can be fun to talk about your work. So, what do you research? Some of my most important research uh, has to do with evaluating vaccines. Vaccines are those shots you get when you're uh, very young and then periodically at different ages, even on an annual basis or every year, uh, we all get a, a flu shot to try and protect us from getting sick. What made you want to be a scientist? Well, I was always interested in answering questions and understanding how things work. And then when I was in medical school and then after I finished medical school and my further training, I met other scientists who really taught me how to be a scientist and to ask questions and try and answer these questions with our research. That's neat. I thought so. <laughs> I have another question. Okay. When you study the vaccines, how long does it take for you to get another idea? When we do vaccine studies, uh, we actually do these studies in people. We do them in adults, and we also um, do studies in, in children. And it often takes us six to 12 months or longer to get an answer from the start to the finish of the study. So. We're constantly thinking of questions to ask and then trying to figure out which ones are the most important ones to study. When you do have an idea that doesn't work, do you feel like giving up ever? So I'll say no, because then you can just turn around and ask another question. In the laboratory, many times we can go weeks or even months where things aren't working the way we want them to, and it can be very frustrating. So one of the things that a scientist has to be is patient. It's kind of like playing baseball or softball. A batter gets up, and more than half the time, they don't get on base. They strike out or they make an out. Research can be like that. A lot of times what you do doesn't work the way you want it to, but when it does work, you feel very good about it. When it does work, what do you do afterward with it? One of the most important things that a scientist can do is tell the rest of the world about the results of their work. Uh, just like you might write a paper and hand it in to your teacher, we write a paper and we send it to a journal or a magazine to make that information available to other scientists and other doctors so that if you find out you have the same question that I had and I already tried this, to answer the question, you won't do that again. You'll do something different to try and answer the question.